Welcome to my video tutorial. I'll be sharing a step-by-step -step guide on how to utilize um, SQLite on Google Colab. Here's the outline which we'll go through today. We have eight different items that we will work on. The first item is to download the Chinook database. Um, the Chinook database is uh, a sales um, database that is widely used for learning and practicing SQL codes or SQL um, codes. So I'll show you um, the website where we get to download the Chinook database from. And I would include the link to the website in the YouTube description below. So here's the, the website, it's called SQLite Tutorial, All right? So we're just going to scroll down. Um, before we do that, um, just to give you uh, a quick look at the relationship diagram, right, or the ER um, diagram for the Chinook database, it looks like this. It shows us all the different files and how they are connected together using the keys, right? So from the media types to the playlist to the tracks, the invoices to the customers to the employees and so on, right? How all of these different um, uh, files or should I say tables are connected and the relationships between these um, tables, right? So all you need to do is to click on this link here, download the SQLite sample database. And once you click on it, right, it would download the database. So it's, it comes as a zip file and all you have to do is unzip it, right? Either on your Mac or your, um, or your Windows computer. So I'm just gonna double click on it since I'm using a Mac, I'm just going to zip and that's the, the file there, right? Chinook.db, right? DB just, just basically short form for, for database. So please make sure you download it and then for Mac, you double click and it would unzip it for a Windows computer. I think you right click and it will show you to unzip the, the file. So we've, we've checked off our very first item, which is to download the data. So I'll mark that as a green, right? Then the next thing is we now have to create a folder on our Google Drive and upload that file into the folder, right? So now go over to your Google Drive folder, right? And all I needed to do is click on new, which you would see on the top left-hand side, and then click on new folder, right? So you could either call it DB, as I stated, short form for database, or if you want to spell it out in full, that's up to you, right? So we do that and you click create, and you have the new folder there. Double click on it. And then now we have to upload that chinook.db into that folder, right? So I'm just going to go to where I saved it, um, chinook.db, and I upload it in there, right? So now we have the chinook.db uploaded into our Google Drive. Right, so that tax for us is completed. So item number two is completed. Now the next item is to, okay, item number three as well is completed because we have uploaded it in there. Then item number four is to then go over to our collab and start installing the different SQL packages that we would need to be able to run SQL on Python. Right, so please follow the step-by-step -step, um, process on how we can successfully run SQL on Python. So all I'm going to do now is bring up my first uh, command line or my cell, whatever, and I'd start typing it. You know, before that, I'm just going to have a text that says um, install SQL packages. All right, so the first package I want to install is called SQL Alchemy. 
and it's one of the packages that would help us run SQL on Python. So run. All right, perfect. So that has been installed, right? I can close this. And then the second package is called IPython SQL, right? So we use the, the pip to install uh, packages on Python or Google Colab. So that's SQL run. All right, so this was also successful. So the next thing we want to do now is to load the SQL extensions, right? As you see on, on item number five, right? So we're going to load the SQL extensions, which is pretty easy and straightforward. Okay, I found this on the web from Street Orange. Sorry about that, my uh, so I'm just gonna check all of this off, all right? And run this, okay? So we've done that. Then the next thing is we need to connect our uh, we need to connect our Google Drive, right? So connect to Google Drive. So, okay, so we need to, first of all, call Google Collab, right? So from Google Collab, import drive, and then we then need to mount the drive on Google Collab. So mount, just copy what I have there, content slash drive, right? That's all we need. So let's run this now. So once you run that, it brings up this um, permission, right? Asking you if you want to allow um, Google Collab to access your Google Drive. So we say connect to Google Drive, and then it asks you to sign in, and you do that. Then the final thing is to um, allow the, the trust um, component, right? So allow. Good. So once you see mounted at contentsless drive, that means that um, you have successfully connected your Google Drive to your Google Collab. So if you go to the files here, right, you would see a new folder that says drive. So once you click on this drop down menu, you'd see my drive and you click on it, you can see all the folders and all the files that you have in your drive, right? So you remember that DB or database folder we created? This is it there and you can see the Chinook database, it's in there. So all I need you to do is on the right three dot here, click on it and then copy the path. So we're going to use that to be able to access that file directly. So just click on copy part and then let's put a new um, cell. And in this cell we have, so, uh, so now we want to load. So when item number seven to load the cell, I need to put a text here. So load the Chinook database, right? So um, we use what we call percentage SQL, right? So basically, what we're we're using percentage SQL because we want to start running um, or writing SQL commands. So we need Python to know that we are writing SQL commands in order for it to run it, right? So if you look at the previous cells, like this cell, this is a Python um, command, so we don't have any percentage SQL there. Um, cell number one and two are all Python commands, so we don't have any percentage SQL. So that's the difference between the two, right? 
So SQL light. So and then there I need to put two more. Uh, yep. So if I run this, good. So once you see that check mark, it shows that that command line is correct or that cell is correct and it has basically loaded, right? So we can check off item number six and seven because we've successfully done those items. So our last item um, is to basically perform a simple uh, SQL um, tax just so that you can um, see see the data we have in that database or see the different tables we have in that database as well as the rows or the features in those um, tables, right? So the first thing I wanna do here, as usual, remember, you always have to type that SQL, right? So that we could use uh, the different SQL functions like select and from and where and so on and so forth, right? So now we just wanna call, we wanna see all the different tables in, in our data set or database, sorry. So I'm just trying to write the, I'm just trying to write the code that would help us look at all the tables in our database. So we say select name from SQLite master, and then we, we want to see the table and then we want to exclude any table that is basically like a default um, table that shows us the SQLite um, properties. We want to exclude that, right? So if I click the play button, now we can see all the different tables we have in our database, right? There's a table called albums, artists, customers, and so on. So if you remember that relational um, uh, chat I showed you, relationship chat I showed you, so this is it. So all of these are individual tables right and you could see all the features that are contained in each of those um, uh, tables so here what i did here is to show us the names of each of those um, tables so we can decide to write another um, sql command to say okay what is inside albums or what is inside employees or what is inside the genres right so we would see that in a minute but let me check this off so we're, we're done with number eight right so just as an added bonus, let's look at this. So let's try to look at some of the things we have in employees. So we say percentage SQL, then select. So when you use the select and you say star or the asterisk, it means that you want to see all the columns or all the features that we have in a particular table, right? So I'm saying from, right now we're just trying to specify what table are we looking at, right? So from employees, right? So once I run this, you can see, so it gives us um, some of the, uh, the features, right? So we can see all the columns from employee ID all the way to their, to their email. Right, so we can see all of that. So this is just basically um, a simple um, how to step, or should I say how to use SQLite on Google Collab. Thank you. Please um, like the video and subscribe to our channel.